Welcome back, Minecrafters, to yet another episode of my Let's Play series. What are we going to be doing today? Well, today I have decided that I want to go explore. Because I want to find an area where I'm going to actually build my permanent base. As you know, this is only temporary location. So, to that ado, that's what I decided to do today. Uh, before I leave, I just wanted to show a quick, a few quick things. Uh, my egg farm here is working beautifully, and I just checked it a minute ago. I have one, two, three, four, five stacks of eggs. I don't want to put any more eggs in here because uh, too many chickens cause lag. Yeah. As you can tell, I already have a considerable amount of egg, uh, chickens in here, so that's more than enough to fill up both those double chests pretty quickly. And then, uh, I'm not going to build a chicken farm around here. When I find uh, where I want to build my permanent base, that is where I, I will build my farms near there. Uh, so I'm going to build some automated farms and stuff like that, but just I'm not going to do it around here. Uh, which reminds me... Uh, I want to take a bed with me because uh, I don't know how long I'll be out. Uh, I don't want to fight mobs. So. Hmm. I think I wrote my coordinates down somewhere. I better jot them down again just in case. So I had a bed around here. Well, maybe I, I don't. I guess I'll just pull this one up. Whatever. We'll just pull this one up. So I'm going to quickly make note of my current coordinates in case I get lost. I know I have them written down somewhere, but I don't have them in front of me right now, so I will just rewrite them down. Let's see. We are at, I can't see, uh, negative uh, x, z, two, eight, two. No, I think it's in this video's description. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well, whatever. Uh, just ignore the phone ringing in the background. It's nobody important. Okay, I'm just going to pick a direction and I'm going to head that way. Now I know there's a couple, I think, ocean biomes around here. and I don't know if I really want to go through an ocean biome or not. but I think I want to go in this direction. I'm just gonna go, you know, go straight pretty much. Oh, how lovely. People leaving dial tones on my answering machine. They just suck. Oh, uh, it looks like a freaking mountain or something. I don't know if I want to climb over a mountain, but well, well, we'll figure it out somehow. And yep, why? I, I have a cow pin now. Uh, I think I guys showed you guys that, right? Uh, I don't remember now. Anyways, I've been breeding these cows in here. And, so I want to get like a whole bunch of cows and I just slaughter them. But while I'm out, I will be slaughtering cows out and about too. Because it's a good source of food. And this fire aspect sword, guess what? I get cooked beef. I even got to uh, I even gotta cook it. Look at that. Cooked cooked steak. Alright. I like this sword. Actually, I love this sword. This sword just kicks ass. Cooks my meat immediately. I'll never run out of food with this sword. I always have me some cooked food. Of course, I got baked potatoes on me, but they're not as good as cooked steak. Huh? Uh, looks like this was just carved right out, but I didn't. I didn't do that, so it's just natural terrain there. Even though it looks like somebody carved something there. Uh, I'm gonna have to scale this mountain. Uh, whatever. I got this efficiency four shovel. It's, it's just pretty much chews through dirt like crazy. No problem at all. And I'm running into... Yes, I was afraid of that there's an ocean over here. I don't know if I want to transverse an ocean to find a suitable spot for a base, but you know, if I can't, I'm, I'm like, if I'm surrounded by... No, 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 I, I, I don't want to go caving, okay? I, I always get distracted by caves. But yeah, if I'm surrounded by like an ocean, that means that this is like a huge island, basically. If that's if that's what I'm thinking, because I've gone off in several directions and I keep hitting like a lot of water. So 
I mean, I guess I could have an honorable underwater base, but you know, other people have already done that. And well, I suppose people have done every type of base there is. So it really doesn't matter what type of base I have, I suppose. But I'm actually kind of wanting to put one like in a mountain or something. Huh, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm not. I'm not building it here. No, no, no. I want to go further away. Somewhere further away. I might check this out real quick. What is this? Oh, it's just another cave. No, I don't need to go caving. Get out! Get out of here, cow. You're my food source. I'll, I'll just take that. Thank you. I hope there's no animal lovers watching, because I'm going to be butchering some cows. Uh, so let me see. I want to go this way. I don't want to go that way. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme give your beef. Yeah, since I died in the lava in the nether, I lost a whole, almost a whole stack of beef, so I'm still disappointed about that. Uh, just another cave. Man, this, I swear there's caves up the Kihinki around here. Also, there's just cows freaking everywhere. So, yeah, there's just cows everywhere. So there's no loss, you know, there's, there's no way I'm ever going to run out of cows. So I've, I've slaughtered tons of them, and then they just keep, like, respawning, so, yeah. I will never run out of cows. So, yeah, I'm thinking I want to find, like, a good mountain. A good mountain. Yeah, this sword's got knock back, knock back too, on it, so... Yeah, knock back two sharpness four fire. This is like an awesome sword here. Seriously, it's getting dark already. It's a good thing I brought me a bed. Yeah, second here. I'm gonna sleep. I'm not even that far from my main. Oh no, I mean not my main. That's not my main base. I mean my temporary base. I'm not very far from my temporary base right now. So let's see why why I brought my bed. I figured it'd be turning night every, yeah, every 10 minutes, so, yeah. Alright, gotta find somewhere to put the bed down. Let's just put it down here and go to sleep. Out in the middle of nowhere. Yay! Alright, and, yeah, I really need to stop slaughtering cows and get to moving, because my goal today is to find some place for a permanent base, not... Slaughter a hundred cows, even though that that could be fun, and I could get lots of food. We'll slaughter a few, but just I don't want to spend the whole time doing that. What's this? Wow, what is that? It's like a big hole. No, I don't want to fall down there because uh, sure I could survive the fall because I got feather falling four on these boots here. Don't go. Don't leave home without. They're following four boots, and I tell you, they've saved my neck quite a few times in my other world. Though, if you fall from too high of height, even these boots will not save you, unfortunately. I have actually died with these boots on uh, in my other world. I, I've fallen too high of, I think, I can't remember. Uh, See, normally you die after like 20, I think it's like 23, 24 blocks. But with a feather falling boots on, you could almost double that. But... I think if you fall from like around 48 or 50, you're still gonna die pretty much. Nothing's gonna cushion your blow from that fall. Oh, there's horses over here. Can't remember. How do you get horses? I should I should get a horse. I don't remember. Uh, I don't have a saddle though. I couldn't. I, I don't have a saddle. That's a shame. I don't have a saddle. I, we, we won't worry about horses. Uh, that's not my goal for this episode, is not to get a horse. My goal for this episode is that, I already said it, uh, find some place to make a permanent base. And stop killing cows. I know, I should stop killing cows, but I can't help myself. They're just everywhere. Oh, that's a nice looking... Is that a donkey? That might be a donkey. Cool. Man, I really want to get one of these horses, but I don't have a saddle, so I can't, like, break it in. I mean, I could break it in, but I 
Hmm. I don't have a lead either, do I? I don't have any slime balls on it. Alright, I gotta stop worrying about the horses. Yeah, I'll come back and get me some horses. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm like in a plains biome. I haven't really gone very far in this map. So, I haven't really loaded any new chunks beyond like the initial chunks. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna hit another ocean going this way. Okay, here's a s swamp and it's uh, more ocean. Huh. So so far I haven't found anywhere that I'm, I'm looking. You know, like I I want. So far nowhere that I like to, that that looks like a good spot for my base. I did I did actually bring some extra stacks of torches just in case I wanted to go caving at some point. And if I do find a, a cave that looks interesting, I may go caving, but I'll probably just do it off camera. Which I'm probably gonna stop recording pretty soon anyways, because I'm not finding squat. I'm sure you guys don't want me to just, you know, watch me wander around finding nothing. That's really boring, so I think I'll do that. I think I'll pause the recording, and then if I find some place that looks decent, I'll start recording again. Okay? So, I'll be back in a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit. Not a long bit. I'm back! And I found a pretty good location. Now, I haven't decided for sure if I'm going to build my main base around here, but I kind of wanted to build it in the side of a mountain. And Well, this is about the biggest mountain I could find. Right here. I don't know if I'm crazy about the scenery though. Uh, got a swamp around here. I mean, it looks all right, I suppose, if you're, if you're in the swamps. Um, there's another little area over here I want to explore, but I figured I'd start recording again because I've been doing, I've been doing some exploring for about the last half hour. I also went to a cave, which is why my inventory is chock full of junk. But yeah, enough caving. I, I I came out of the cave, found some iron, some coal, actually quite a bit of coal. Uh, I was kind of hoping that there was a witch hut in this swamp biome here, but I haven't found one yet, so I figured I'd look around a little bit more. I haven't looked through the entire swamp just yet, but man, it would be sweet if I could find a witch hut, and then I could have a witch farm. Yeah, there we go. Could be my first farm, but I don't, I don't know if I really want a, a witch farm as my very first farm. But yeah, there's some more planes over there, so I'm going to go over there a little bit and check it out. But I'm thinking right now that this, this mountain here, I really like this mountain. I mean, it's it's huge. And I'm thinking I could dig out the innards, like hollow out a lot of the mountain and make kinds of rooms and stuff and uh, have like a lookout, like could go all the way around the mountain, really. And I really need to find my coordinates so I can find this place again. Okay, there's me coordinates. So yeah, I've traveled uh, not a long ways, but a decent, a decent amount. I've traveled a decent amount. Uh, I'm at least a good 20 minute walk from my temporary housing unit right now. Uh, well. If I did a, did a straight jog back, it probably wouldn't take me 20 minutes. In fact, it probably would only take me about 5, but... It, it seems like that long. So let's go over here. And this is probably an ocean biome. Let me see. Swamp land, but I bet if I go out into this blue water, it turns into an ocean biome. Yep, ocean, ocean biome. Yep, that's what I thought. But I want to check out over here. See how that that hill, mountain, whatever. It just looks awesome. I just, I really like the shape of that. That it's so big and yeah, I really like it. Well, let's go ahead and do a little more exploring this way. And see, I haven't haven't won over here yet, so these chunks are loading. Here's another hill. 
Uh, it's not as big as the one I just looked at, but... Ah, I just love how the cows spawn on top of trees, way up in the air. Guess he's going to be up there for quite a while. Uh, this is more of a hill, and that back there was more of a mountain. And it's probably just more ocean over this way. Uh, yep. I seem to hit ocean. No matter what direction I go, I always seem to hit, uh, eventually run into an ocean. So yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's where I want to make my base. Right in that hill over there. Uh, I guess it's a mountain, not a hill. So I had, let's head back over there again. Uh, I'm gonna like dig out some stairs or whatnot and see what what's the best way to get into this thing. For all I know, it's a cave system in there. I don't know. Now, do I want the front, like, facing the swamp? Or do I want the front... Oh, here it is over here. Do I want the front facing that way? Because this right here is actually a pretty nice scenery this way. Maybe I'll come in from this way. Instead of the swamp way. Oh, I heard... I heard it. I heard a mob. Where is this mob at? Uh, it's odd. I didn't dig this out, but it almost looks like it was carved out just for me. Look at that. Oh, there's a cave over there. Cool. Hey. I guess I could dig in right there. It's already like pre dug for me. Sweet. So we can go in there. I like this view over in this side. This view is pretty nice over here. And then, yeah, let's just dig it out somewhat. Kind of like a lobby area where you first enter. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this area. Hmm. Now the problem is going to be transferring my stuff from my temporary base to over here. Or should I just leave everything on my temporary base and uh, just start stockpiling stuff here? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. So let's get some basic stuff going in here. Uh, uh, I need a furnace. So I need a crafting table. Go furnace. Cause I want to smelt some cabo to make smooth stone. Yeah, look at that coal. Do. 
So yeah, I'll probably um do some work here off camera. Uh, and then I'll come back. Or I guess I could just keep recording and just speed up the clip. But I don't know. It seemed like it'd be kind of boring. Just, I'm just going to dig out a, a room here, like a lobby area. And then uh, maybe wrap around, put some glass in, like right here maybe. You know, and I'm thinking maybe replace some of this stone here with like some dirt to have it like come up to to dirt entrance or whatnot. So anyways, um yeah I think I'll just chop that part out. I'm gonna work a little bit here once I get a little area going and then I will uh start recording again. Okay, I'll be back. Hey I'm back so I got uh the area that I, I picked out for where I want my main base to be. I also built another portal over there because I'm getting tired of running back and forth between here and there. It's really, it's really not that far, but it's still too far to really run. So what I did was I built another portal over where my main base is going to be, and and then I came back. I got the coordinates, so I know where to go in the Nether. I thought you guys might want to see me go into the Nether. Uh, yeah. I haven't had that much luck with another, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to find the coordinates and build another portal, and that portal will link to my main base. That way I can easily transverse between my main base and the temporary, well, I guess we'll just call it the uh, main NPC village. I also actually found another NPC village, but uh, I'll show you guys that later. It sounds like there's a gas out here. Uh, in case I fall in the lava, I don't want to take all this stuff with me. Let's see, I'm gonna take. Well, I need a pick. I want to replace this one. Drop these off. Take this. I don't know why I took all this crap with me, but it's. I'm here now. All I'm gonna do is, is find a spot for this nether portal, and then, and then I'm getting out of the nether. Another episode, I'm going to come back and I'm actually going to explore the nether more because the last time I didn't really explore it any. So let me pull up my coordinates. I'm looking for Z, negative 4, X, negative 139. So Z, negative 4. Yeah, I've got to light four. my path so I, know where, so I know where I'm at. Plenty of torches. I really hate this lava stream. I want revenge on it for taking my stuff. I'm going to investigate where this stupid lava is coming from. Uh, I just hope I don't die again because that would be very embarrassing. This lava has already claimed me twice. Huh, all this stuff is coming down from up here somewhere. Away from me, fire. I'm not gonna jump over it because I'll probably just die. Uh, oh, I think I see the source block. Um, Problem is, if I hit that block, it'll probably pour out and get me. So let me. I'm gonna have to get build a little bridge over this thing. I hope that doesn't kill me. I haven't really explored much of another area yet, and Allah! Ha 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 ha! So much for that lava. It is bye bye. I got revenge. Wow, all kinds of pigment up here. I see a ghast. I see a ghast. I'm gonna try to kill his ghast. Maybe I'll get a ghast here. Wow, that was an epic fail. So 
dig my way up here and see what he dropped. If he dropped anything. Alright, well. Should have died right around here. Too bad I don't see nothing. Bad. So that I can uh, get this uh, glowstone. Alright, let's just let's just take care of this. Easy as pie. We'll just pill it up next to it and block it off. Just like that. And voila! Lava's problem is fixed. We should see that lava receding now. Yep, there it goes. Bye bye lava. That's less lava I have to worry about now. I'll just triumphantly watch it go away. Of course, it's going to make this area dark. So. Throw a few torches down. Oh, oh, don't want to jump in the lava. It's not quite gone yet. You can still die by it. We'll just follow it down and put some torches down as we're following it. Preferably not jumping into it. The torches will serve as a memory of where the lava was. Kind of sentimental. Wait, is there another source block? Oh, okay, I guess not. I thought there was another source block for a minute. Oh, hooey! I almost jumped in. The redments of the lava. It's all flowing lava. There's no source blocks. So it will all disappear. Yay! Looky there, no lava in sight. I like it. Now I just gotta go back and find me some. Find me some. What? What the hell did I need? Oh, obsidian. I need some obsidian to make another portal. Okay, let's see. I can get my junk back now. Uh, I don't need this stone pick anymore. Let's see, what pick? Alright. Gotta be very careful of this pick. Oh, uh, she's gone. Blah, 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 blah. And tear down the whole wall. That's good. Now we can build up this portal. Oh, voila. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. I didn't bring a flint and steel. How do you activate a portal without a flint and steel? Get out of my way, pigman. I have plenty of flint and steels here, so it's, it's not a problem. It's just annoying. I gotta run back again. I should put out some of these fires. I'm liable to jump in one of them and set myself on fire. It's not as bad as lava, but it's still annoying, and you can still take quite a bit of damage from it. I don't need a torch there. Oh, let's take this flint and steel with me. I have plenty of backup flint and steel. I don't believe there's much chance of this portal being deactivated over here, the one I just built, because it's inside of the nether brick. Ow. It's inside the nether brick, uh, you know, so... Odds are it's probably not going to ever be de deactivated. Ah, uh, get up there! No! Oh, fudge. I need to eat again? And that stupid pigment is still in my way. I keep hearing a ghast, but I don't see one. Get out of my way, get out of my way. I wonder if he's set. 
a pigment on fire if they'll become hostile. I'm curious. Or maybe I better light this portal first and then try you know, a fast escape in case he gets mad at me or something. I'm curious. Can you set a pigment on fire? And maybe they're immune to the fire. Oh, you know, what? I don't, I don't think the fire hurts him. <laughs> it doesn't look like it hurts him any. All right, so what did I do? Punch a hole over there? Or this is it? We're about to go through to my main base. Here we go. So hopefully I did this right. This should link me to my main base. Uh, wha what the? This does not look like my main base. I don't know where the hell I am. Nope, definitely, definitely not my main base. Uh, somehow I did that all wrong. Huh. I used a calculator too online to find the coordinates. Maybe I should have just did it the old way, like math, you know? Well, that just sucks. Because I don't know where the heck I'm at. Oh, great, an Enderman. Let me pull up my coordinates. This is annoying. Negative. Yeah, the coordinates are off. Huh, I don't I don't know what I did wrong. Anyways, I gotta go back through here and uh, try to fix this. Well, that's just embarrassing. Uh, I still have the original quarter co coordinates uh, that I took that I entered into the calculator. Actually, it looks like I entered the X and the Z as both being negative, but actually, the Z was not negative. The Z was positive. I think that was the error. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to that calculator site and figure, figure this out. So that means I'm going to have to break this portal here. All right, I'm back, guys. Now, I got the portal where I believe is the correct coordinates this time. The only thing that concerns me is that other portal that was randomly created is fairly close to um, to the exit portal on my other one. So I'm hoping that this doesn't link to that one as well, because if it does, then I'm going to have to destroy that one and dig my way out of that whatever cave I'm in. And then try this all over again so let's we'll just hopefully this works and I don't have to mess with all that crap all right here it goes hopefully this links to my main base like it's supposed to crap no no it linked to this stupid portal ah great Alright, I'm going to have to destroy this portal. Alright, looks like this is going to be harder than I thought. Uh, because this messed up portal is messing up my linking. And now the portal I built in the nether, which is should be in the correct coordinates now, but it's linking to the wrong portal. Instead of linking to the portal I wanted to link to, it's linking to this incorrect portal. So 
I'm going to stop recording again. Alright, I'll be back. Well, I'm back again at the portal. At the correct coordinate portal. I destroyed the other portal. So, this one should go to my main base now. And not to that other useless portal that was incorrect. So, hopefully... Hopefully this works this time. That way I can stop being embarrassed on camera for doing things incorrectly. Ah, oh, God. Now where the hell am I? I'm up a freaking tree? Oh. How annoying is this? Oh my God. I'm up a tree. Where the hell am I? Let me pull up my coordinates. I've never had this much trouble linking two portals together. At least I'm not in some retarded cave, but still. Uh, the portal I want to be at is actually over there. Uh. So where the heck would that... I've never actually gone through that portal over there that I built. Where the heck would that portal take me? Maybe if I could... If I go through it, it can link it up that way. I don't know. I, I'm getting annoyed with this portal thing. Uh, at least this one's closer. I guess I can have a portal up a tree. Whatever. It would still be shorter than running back and forth through my base. Oh, it's turning night again. Great. Okay. Well, I'm almost at the right spot. Come on. Run, 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 run. Oh my goodness. I'm getting crappy frame rates per second. I'm getting as bad as if I was in the nether. I'm not in the nether. Okay, right up here, right over there. I built the stupid portal that I wanted to use. It's inside this mountain here. And... I'm just going to go through that portal. Maybe I have to go through that portal to link it up somewhere? I don't know. This is becoming obnoxiously annoying. Actually, maybe that's the problem. I never activated this portal. I think that was what I've been doing wrong. It can't link up to this portal because it's not activated. Ugh. That's probably it. Alright. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go destroy the other portal. It's in the stupid tree. Well, after I sleep. Yeah, so I'm going I'm to destroy the portal. It's in the tree. And then I'm going to run back. Yeah, I'm going to run back to my main base. Not my main base. I mean my uh, NPC village base. And try this one more time. Whoa, where'd you come from? Uh, you could just stay out there and burn up. Uh, I've never had this much trouble linking portals up. But, yeah, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't link to that portal because it wasn't activated. I don't know why I didn't activate it. Ugh. There's the other stupid portal in the middle of the air on top of a frickin' tree. I, I didn't even know you can get a portal on top of a frickin' tree. How is that even possible? Well, I'll be back when I'm standing in front of that portal in the nether like I was standing a few moments ago. And then I'll start recording again. Okay, be back in a few. Alright folks, I'm approaching the portal again, and uh, you should know the routine by now. I'm going to jump through it, and hopefully I'm where I'm supposed to be. Without further ado, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump in this stupid portal, and hopefully it takes me where I want to go. Ah, thank God. Thank God. It took me to the correct portal. So that was the problem. 
Well, the first the first problem was I, I did have the coordinates wrong at first. But the second time I did have I did have the coordinates right the second time. The problem the second time was that uh, I didn't activate the portal on this side. So you can't link to a portal that's apparently it's not activated. Oh, there's a lot of caves down there. I think I was done in these caves. I think I was. Huh. Anyways, I'll explore those caves later. I'm just so happy I finally got this portal working and linked up. So, I need to make a path from... So, I, I never have to run again. Now the portals are linked, finally. I, I, I missed... I missed a crucial step. The crucial step I missed was I was supposed to activate this portal but not go through it. But I failed to activate it so I could never link to it. I could make portals all bloody day and then would never link to this if this thing was not activated. Let's test to make sure that it goes to the correct spot here. Okay, what the heck? Oh, okay, it's partially blocked here. Kidding me. That did not just happen. Tell me that did not just happen. At least my spawn is over here, but jeez, oh freaking Pete. That means my path to the portal has been blocked with lava. Why is there a piece of. I must have died right in front of the portal. Well, at least my stuff should be safe. What the heck is there lava up here? Oh my god, I believe this crap. I just have the worst luck in the world, I swear, with lava. I know where the splob is coming from. Oh, it's not. It must be a single source block. Oh my god, shut up, pigment. Lava. I freaking hate it. I have no luck when it comes to lava. Yeah, in the nether, there's just random, randomly placed lava source blocks. Just get out of my face, pigment. See, I want to make a pathway from. Oh, holy cow! Great. It's not lava, it's stupid gas. Whoa, man. Whoa. Man, he's like tearing up this place. Oh. Hold still. Really? Oh, I must have shot his, uh... I must have shot his fireball with the arrow. I didn't know you could do that. Ah, stupid gunpowder. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, look at there. It was a gas tier, I guarantee it. Oh, yeah, my very first gas tier. That made it worth it. That made it all worthwhile. All right. Far, far out. Yeah. That's awesome. That was sweet. Yes, that made it all worth it.
Mm. All that dying of lava and everything. It's all made it worth it. Just be getting me a gas tier. Man, he blew up my way up there, though. Alright, this is where I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, I'm going to make a, a decent passageway from there to here. Uh, and then I'm going to tidy up the main base a little bit. And then I will start my next episode. So until the next episode, adios. Adios.